happy Wednesday, scholars. It is Wednesday, the 20th of May, and today we are kind of starting our end of year milestones and celebrations. I can't believe it's already like the year is almost over. You guys are almost fifth graders, and I'm sad. I'm sad that we don't get to spend this last week of school together as a community in our buildings. I'm sad that we've only been here to help you like electronically and not been able to like give you hugs or like actually listen to some of the problems that you might be going through. Um, I'm sad that our school year is ending this way, but know that so many of you are gaining so many amazing skills. I would never have thought that for log in a new platform that they had never seen before. I never would have thought that fourth graders would be completing assignments with such amazing focus and such hard work. Like I'm so incredibly proud and I'm very sad that we don't get to spend the end of the year together. Um, I tried to put a lot of gifts into this presentation because it makes me happy. And so I'm hoping that even though we're coming to the end of the school year that you can still be a little happy too. So, like I said, I can't believe that this is happening. Um, this is kind of gonna be our agenda for today. We're gonna talk a little bit about missing work. We're gonna talk about our end of the year assessment and then you are gonna kind of let me know what you wanna do at the end of the year. So what I want you to do is, I would love to have some sort of celebration on Friday. Um, today's Wednesday, so in a couple days, I would love to have some sort of celebration with you, um, or maybe even on Thursday, and I'm not sure, like, what you guys would want to do. We could do, like, a live Zoom where you guys come into my room, and we just talk and get to kind of know each other, because Mary Bell kiddos, I haven't really met you yet. Um, we could do, like, a lunch bunch on Thursday where you can come eat lunch with me, um, let me know what you're kind of thinking would be fun. If you just kind of want to watch the videos and then say bye, that's also cool too. But leave me a private comment in today's assignment, letting me know um, what you think might be fun. If you're interested in doing a lunch bunch or a live Zoom meeting, just let me know and I'll schedule one, okay? Um, so let's talk about missing work in end of year assessments. So we know about missing work is that if you don't do the work, then you don't learn. And we know that if you don't do the work, your grades go down. And this is what it'll look like. This is you going to be trying to get your grades up. You're going to be like running in place, trying to go uphill if you don't do your work now. Um, I want to be like super, super transparent with you guys. Oh, no, you can't see because I didn't animate this. Silly Mrs. Lardner. Let's do this. Did I fix it? Boom. So like I said, I wanted to be really transparent with you. Online work is not optional. Um, the work that we've been doing is in replace of the work that you would normally be doing in the school day. And like to be super transparent, it's like less time and less work than you would be putting in onto um, the normal school day. So even though I know it's new and I know it's difficult and I know that there are a lot of other things, like unfortunately this work is not optional. Um, we need you to complete the work so that we know that you're ready to be in fifth grade. Because not only is being a fifth grader a lot about learning new skills and, and learning the knowledge from third and fourth grade, but it is more so about responsibility and knowing that when your teacher or somebody asks you to do something, that you're getting it done. Um, so getting all of your work done today is really going to help us know that you are ready to be in fifth grade. What happens if you don't get it done? Well, if you don't get it done, you are most likely going to be attending summer school, which is just a longer extension of virtual learning. Um, additionally, if you still do not get it done, the beginning of the school year is going to look a little different. We might have to have conversations with your families, um, but you will be missing a lot of fun time like recess and gym and art to be making up the work that you missed. So honestly, like you have nothing else to do right now. Let's Let's just get it done. That way you're like ready to go um, for next year and you can start fresh and have some fun with your friends. How do you find your missing work? Oh, great question, Mrs. Lardner. I'm going to show you. So you, and now here's my gift that I messed up earlier, but now you're gonna watch me um, show you where to go for missing assignments. So I logged into Google Classroom. I'm under a student account. Um, I'm gonna click my fourth grade ELA classroom. 
When I come here, I'm going to see my normal announcements that I see each time. I have all of my assignments posted. Fun, fun, fun. But if I go over to this classwork page and I go to view your work, this is going to show me all of the assignments that we have had since the beginning of the year. So if you're looking at this student account, this is like a fake account. It's not somebody's real account. Um, but if this was Mrs. Lardner as a scholar, Mrs. Lardner has not been doing anything, really. Like, this is a little embarrassing. I need to, like, get it together, get it done. Um, the only thing I have been doing is Lexia, which is great, but I need to actually do my assignments. So anything that you see that says missing, we really do want you to turn that in. Okay. I know it might feel like a lot, um, but the goal is, like, you're going to have your computer over the summer. We have a couple of days. Just try to get as many assignments done as you can to help increase your grade. So in order to do that, you will click the link and you'll click View Details. When you click View Details, it's going to bring you to the actual assignment. Here you'll see Mrs. Lardner little note to you that I always write and I try to be kind of funny. Um, I give you a couple of reminders, but just remember if you're doing late work, you won't have um, office hours. Um, and then I do it in Spanish too, in case that's helpful. And then you'll actually click the form and then you'll get started. Once you've gotten started, your teachers will be able to go in and then grade those assignments. Got it? Remember, after you submit your form, you always want to mark as done. That way your teachers know that it is done and they can go in and grade it. So this is how you find your missing work um, by going and looking at your um, classwork tab. And I'm going to show you one more time how I got to there. So I went from the stream to the classwork page, and then I went to view your work. It's going to give me all of the assignments that I have yet to complete. So make sure you are getting those done. Um, awesome. So we've talked about missing work. We've talked about what we want to do to celebrate the end of the year. But there is one more thing that needs to get done. We do have an end of the year assessment. Normally, this would be like a like a, a bigger deal in class, right? We would be preparing, like as we're going, we would say like, all right, it's your end of year assessment is coming up. Um, to be like completely transparent guys, like we know that this has been, uh, been a little bit of a crazy time for everybody. We have created this different end of year assessment to really see where you are. Um, we are gonna be looking at it and we are going to be grading it. So it is going to be for a grade, you need to try your best. But most importantly, we're going to be looking at this assessment for next year. Your fifth grade teachers, um, Ms. Trotter and Ms. Alprin, are going to be looking at this data to kind of take a look to see, like, what do they know and what do they still need some help with? And then from there, we'll be able to kind of figure out how to start the beginning of the year next year. So it's really important that you try your best because we really, truly want to know what you do know and what you still need support in. It's kind of crazy, but you guys are going to do amazing. Well, but finding your student ID. So this is an Illuminate assessment. The past couple of weeks, we've been doing news ELA articles. And so you've been following some different directions. But for an Illuminate assessment, it's very simple. You'll just click the link that's attached in this assignment and you'll input your student ID number and then log in. It will already have the testing code in there for you because I'm pre-linking the assignment, but you do need to get your student login info. So I'm going to show you how to do that. To get your student login information, oh no, to get your student login information, you're going to go to your classwork and then you're going to go to student login info information. Once you see that, you're going to see one assignment that has your name, Natalie, I borrowed yours again. Um, you're going to see one assignment that has your name. When you click this assignment, you're going to be able to see your login information. You'll look for your Illuminate student ID and then you will enter that into the platform so that you can take the assessment. All right, guys, it's the end. You're really doing three things today. You are continuing to get set up on your uh, missing work. You're completing your end of year ELA assessment. And then you're really letting me know in the comments if you'd like to do anything fun tomorrow or Friday. Um, I would love to spend time with you if that sounds like something you think would be interesting or fun at all. Um, so just a quick reminder, I'm incredibly proud of you. You've worked so hard 
um, the school year has felt crazy and it will definitely be a school year that you tell your um, your college friends about, maybe even your sons and daughters about one day about how you all of a sudden switched from in-person school to online school. And you guys were champions and did a really phenomenal job this year by logging in and showing so much responsibility. I am so, so proud of you and so proud of the hard work that you have shown this year. Um, if you need anything, feel free to come. Um, you can shoot me a private comment. We can try to set up a Zoom session, anything you need in these last couple of days. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Get these things done. Missing work, end of your assignment, and then tell me if there's anything fun you'd like to do. Three things, that's all. Um, really, really proud of each and every one of you, and I hope you have an amazing Wednesday. I will see you guys later. Have a great, great rest of your week. Bye, guys.